City of Cyber Delights, part one. Very reminiscent of, I believe, uh, the beginning of chapter eight, as well as the beginning of chapter 11. Ah! It's him. Leet, Guildmaster of the Roppongi Tycoons, continues to think back. It was around the same time of year as of now. New music too. An acquaintance of his from the Art Academy had received some significant recognition through a painting contest. The memories come into greater focus. That's right. This acquaintance's base of operations was Akihabara. Uh, that is Daikoku and Kuniyoshi, and I can't tell who the other ones are. Uh, two Barons, and <laughs> I can't tell who was on right. Someone other than Leet stands at the podium. The spotlight shines on someone else. The foremost authorities of the art world, he preys upon his acquaintance, not him. Now he submitted art of his own? No one has much to say about it. The difference in regard is night and day. Aww. <laughs> this music. Leet can only imagine what it would be like to receive commendations such as that. It must be the greatest feeling in the world. Why? Why wasn't his work picked? He toiled so hard for his art, putting all his blood, sweat, and tears into it. He did everything he could possibly imagine to create something of noteworthy value, but it was for naught. His acquaintance has what he wants, what he can never achieve. Had he done something wrong? Did somebody make a mistake? He wants answers, but he knows there are none to be had. Negative thoughts fill every corner of his head. He feels the need to get away. Briskly, he distances himself from the contest menu. Lead. But he doesn't want to he head straight back to Rapungi. No, he decides instead to wander aimlessly around the area of the contest. The city is packed with people in costume. Apparently, there is some sort of mass parade festival going on. The site is a bit surreal, adding to the artsy feel of the area, as well as its reputation for subcultural trend setting. I might as well just sit down and clean my head while I'm here. There must be a coffee shop or something somewhere. Hmm? That is this place. I can barely read the sign. Creator's Social Saloon? Interesting. Leek stumbles upon a small bar at the corner of the town. From the name and general appearance, it seems to be a place for creative people to gather. Lightly intrigued by the overall vibe, Leek shrugs and decides to enter. An old bell chimes as he opens the door. Well, no. It seems we've got someone new to this establishment. Pull up a chair and join me, won't you? A Candace Syrian dressed like a writer from an earlier era calls out to Leet. Despite the anachronistic and likely rather cumbersome attire, however, the general atmosphere of the room makes it seem considerably less out of place. This saloon has been around for a long time. Since before the gates, even. It was a study for many a revolutionary novelist back then. No, it's a social club for writers and creators to meet and share discourse. The Therian, now sharing the table with Leet, explains the history of this establishment. Like most others, I too have read the many works of these past authors. There is so much to be ascertained from them. I felt many things since coming to the Tokyo. Especially through the various works left by the people of old. I must say, they left a big impression on me. It's hard to believe how moving the words of someone long gone can be. Being a literary person myself, I was greatly inspired to follow in their footsteps. At least, that was the plan. I spent many days disappointed by my lack of literary talent, be it for prose or poetry. It is apparent this person had an endured experiences much akin to what Leek himself is going through. <sighs> ah. The two hit it off instantly, 
and the topic of conversation quickly turns to their respective artistic works. And the act of artistic creation must be an inescapable confrontation with their own skill. Your soul, cornered and on the verge of emotional eruption, burns to the fuel of your art and strike awe into the hearts of your peers. The deeper your mental anguish, the more spectacular the art you can make from it. That's what I choose to believe anyway. Leet repeatedly and enthusiastically nods in wholehearted agreement. Then, and only then, can one create such influential art capable of moving others. The man continues with such intensity that he seems possessed by his own theory. Art created by the most anguished can one day influence others to claim it as truth. Hmm. Something about the streaming bug you leaked. Sasagua shows some concern for leaked after noticing he has gone dead silent upon seeing the screen. No, it's just that I've met this person before. It was a prior to meeting Arthur. It seems we both found success in creative fields outside of those we failed in. Indeed. Something about his way of speaking inspires one to feel like they can find their true calling. As if to substantiate his influence, comments posted by the viewers flow one after another in the background of the stream. So, there is something off about this. I just can't quite put my finger on what it is. Ah, pardon me, Sasakwa. I'm getting a call from the Summoners. W. Hello? Oh, okay. Calm down. I'm sure that there's no need to be in such a panic. What? <laughs> from the sounds of it, the attack came swiftly and without warning. There was no hesitation at all. This is all his fault. Don't let him get away. What in the world is happening? What's my fault? What did I do? I think there's been some kind of misunderstanding. This way, Arthur. Uh, what the? Was that a wire extension? No, wait, stop. Oh, old school background. <laughs> How about you stop right where you are? Any further mischief from you lot will be dealt with accordingly. Uh, Mr. Sandyu! My, my. They say teaching was very hard work, and it seems they weren't kidding about that. Whew. Looks like we lost them. Now, I want you to listen closely to what I'm about to say, then make a break for it. You got that, Arthur? Uh, where is everyone else? The rest of the summoners are either creating diversions or securing a viable escape route to get you out of here. Long story short, some information pertaining to the game that was previously kept hidden has now been leaked. Apparently, there are our main players who have a marked advantage over everyone else. And at the very core of the struggles among these main players is you. Oh, I see. Glad to see you're at least keeping calm about this. The bottom line is, it's now public knowledge that the guild battles thus far have all been little more than a farce. Basically, everybody now knows they've been participating a game all this time, they have no hope of winning. And people can get pretty scary when they find out their supposed fear of fight has been rigged from the very start. At the very moment, no specific information regarding the main players, the role representatives, that is, has been leaked. So all that rage is funneled toward you. Even things you had nothing to do with are being blamed on you. In fact, a lot of chatter about you is making the rounds. Your status as a trans is being openly disputed, for one. 
And then details like your appearance, your school affiliation, and even the places you've been to recently have been disseminated. Where did this information come from? Is the game itself changing in some way? Those who've been managing the game have refrained from doing anything that might directly put you in mortal danger. So I'd say it's clear some fundamental changes occurring within it. There's more to it than that, of course. But we don't have the luxury of mulling things over right now. The priority at this moment should be to run. We need to focus on getting you to safety. Tensions are high and people are losing control. With a rage feeling rage. They'll need time to cool their heads. Okay, but run where? Well, where would I be safer than Chinjuku if I'm seeing this game over? We looked into having one of the other guilds shelter you, but Ikebukuro, Aoyama, Dopongi, Kamata, nowhere is safe. Members of these guilds are fuming over how much was kept from them. So if I can, I'd like to hide you away someplace far from the guild battles. I'd also like to get you disguised, just enough so you're not recognized by anyone in passing. Is there even such a place? So, what are you thinking then? Tricky, isn't it? A disguise so extensive that your stature is uh, altered would do more to attract attention. Someone with a good eye for art might be able to make it look convincing, but it'd be difficult for an amateur to pull that off. Anybody would notice the one person walking around town with awkwardly excessive makeup and a haphazard costume. Unless, of course, it's a place where everyone is masked in some way. Yeah, if camouflage is the way to go, I think I know just the person who can point us in the right direction. Is he calling me here? Yeah, this is the connection. I see. To be honest, I know of one such place that meets your needs perfectly. It would be, yeah, with the Kihabara craters. Hearing Shiro's plea, Leet immediately dials a number of some other individual. He knows his old self never would have considered asking this individual for help, but he also knows that's not who he is anymore. Hey, old buddy, old pal, it's me. I was wondering if I might be able to call in a favor for my days at the Art Academy. Oh, he's not. <laughs> is he calling Kuniyoshi? This is Akihabara in the Taito Ward of Tokyo. A very peculiar, very unique guild calls it home. This guild is renowned for being almost completely uninvolved in the guild battles that virtually consume all other guilds. Though this doesn't mean they maintain neutrality by providing beneficial services like the Kamata crafters do. Nor does it mean they exercise their powers strictly to repel invaders like the Kabukicho outlaws either. Rather, this guild has one very specific condition for membership. You have to be a creator. That is to say, you have to contribute something of note to Tokyo's cultural zeitgeist. Welcome home, masters! I see you've requested the creator's short crunch confinement course for the day. This course includes free use of house sewing machines for cosplay production. Cloth and thread can be purchased at the counter. Is such a power outlets and USB charging stations is included with this cover cut charge, so please do make yourself at home. And finished. This costume should fit you like a glove now. Is your makeup all sorted? Good, good. In that case, arms up. Let's get this on you. And strike a pose with me. Uh, like this? Oh, I guess we're already here. You slip on the last piece of your otherworldly costume, opposed with your new acquaintance, as requested. If nothing else, you generally do look like a whole other person now. Even your closest friends wouldn't be able to recognize this getup. Oh! The combination of Easter dress, katana, and that long-haired fairy look is positively inspiring. I'm flushed with ideas now. Toblopas, raise your arms a little bit. Good, good. Can you bring your chin down, um, Arathon? 
<laughs> this is a huge change in tone. The young man, armed with only a pen and pad of manuscript paper, busies himself drawing the incredible scene he sees before his eyes. And there's Hecate. In actuality, there are dozens of people in the establishment gazing your way, all of whom are similarly busy drawing you as they see fit. Hmm, that's alright. Can I ask you to pose for me as well? I was hoping you'd uh, help me convey the scene I'm working on. Maybe get a little closer. And Katubapas, could you grab his waist? Like, you hate him, but also don't want to let him go. Right, if you say so. Sorry, but if you could bear with me, please, Arthur. How's the secretary? Better? Looking good, Kid Hoboblast. Oh, just like that. Oh, yeah. I totally ship you. <laughs> You're 100% out to sea. <laughs> I can make good use of this. I can get five books out of this coupling at least. <laughs> uh, why am I cosplaying right now? What sort of establishment is this? You know, I think this pose would be a lot better. <laughs> Oh, that's perfect! Do you draw too? Artists are so cool, don't you think, Arathin? This is shared space for creators of all things large and small. It's pretty famous for around these parts. Think of it as a perfect marriage of an always open marriage manga cafe and an all purpose creative workshop. I've heard that it used to be a more austere saloon appealing to intellectuals, but it's been renovated recently. Our guild makes regular use of this place whenever we need to confine ourselves to concentrate on our work. Of course, a lot of our members do their creative work online, but sometimes it's just a lot more convenient to be here. That's right, you can do a lot of things online these days, but sewing isn't exactly one of them. Oh, I wish I could have introduced you to our guildmaster, but there'll be time for that later, I'm sure. Maybe one chapter for now. Anyway, the Kihabara creators bid you a warm welcome, Arthur. So you're all... Oh, right! We put you through a lot already without even introducing ourselves, haven't we? We are members of the Akihabara Guild, the Creators. As the name suggests, all manners of creators and creative minds gather to make up this guild. From painters to calligraphers, cosplayers to costume designers, anything with a passion for creation is welcome here. It was our guild master who first came up with the idea, a guild actively bringing the creatives together. My name is Kuniyoshi Etogawa. I'm a friend of Leeds. I write fanfics and fanzines and like. Thanks forever, baby. Oh, I wouldn't exactly say I'm obsessed or anything, though. And I'm Hecate. I have a thing for bearing shipping and characters. They inspire me to create stories, are they? <laughs> when my shipping sounds tickles, I can work anything in anyone until my stories and make them. <laughs> okay, Hecate. So, huh, perhaps I wouldn't consider myself to be an expert on the matter. Just another member of the fandom. Uh, and I'm Katoblopas, just a novice cosplayer. It'd be too presumptuous of me to claim to be anything otherwise. I'm Ariston. You seem to be experts in your fields. You sure know more than I do. So, do you have any particular interests? What are you into? From what Leet said, I'm guessing cosplay. That would be wonderful if so. Another person willing to dress up. We could do events together. Uh, it would be lovely. Cosplay? You're not interested. He told us that while you are on break from school, you want nothing more than to bitch cosplay. <laughs> Is that our cover story enough? He mentioned how you were out of your mind with desperation to dress up in an elaborate costumes. Oh, uh, what? Oh, uh, right, right. Hmm? Now, listen up, my friend. Once you arrive, this is how things are going to play out. As I understand it, in order to blend in over there, you want to be regarded as having some sort of creative hobby. It doesn't matter if you do or do not. Try your best to seem like you have one. Only then can he stay effectively hidden. Oh, right. Uh, yep. I'm such a nerd over this stuff. I, I want to cosplay like crazy. 
<laughs> Yay! A cosplay friend! I'm so happy. I have plenty of friends who make outfits, but I'm not many willing to wear them with me. Uh, so what kind of manga, anime, and games do you like? Or wait, do you prefer original cosplays, maybe? I want to hear everything about you, and then I want to wear tons of costumes and take tons of pictures with you. What do you say? Oh, but I guess maybe we should take a quick breather first, huh? I'll go grab some drinks from the dispenser. Kadopobas practically skips to the back of the room to pour some drinks, absolutely beside himself with excitement. So, this is the Akihabara Guild, huh? Has a... hmm, different feel from the others. Hmm. Something wrong? You're looking around the same room like you're on an alien planet or something. Could it be you're not used to being around others who are as passionate as you are about your hobbies? Ah, come to think of it, you did seem like that was the case when Leek brought you through that door. So, so are all the customers here creators? Are there other members as well? Are they all nerds like us? Oh, I think yeah, most people are members of the guild, but not all of them would be considered nerdy per se. I mean, it's not like you have to be a super fan or something to be allowed in here. That's right! Anybody's welcome! I suspect Burmese wouldn't like this place all that much, though. Oh, we're just happy to be friends with. Heyo! I thought I heard Kuyoshi and Hickety. You two in here? Ah! ah, what's going on? Why are you running away? Guess more introductions are in order. Oh yeah, in his research profile, people are afraid of him because of his ability to extend his creativity. Oh well, what have we here? A fresh fanatic for the menagerie. Me? My name's Akia Gongen. Pleased to meet you, Ace. Taito Ward, City of Cyber Delights, Part 2. Hey yo! I thought I'd heard Kuniyoshi and Hecate. You doing here? Thank you for that flashback. Me? The name's like Gil Gongen. Pleasure to meet you, Ace. I'm no geek or anything myself. I just happen to live nearby and like to pop in here from time to time. If you're here to, looking to make friends, I'm happy to be one. I can show you around town if you want me to. Mm, sorry, sorry. I couldn't decide which drink to get, and then they were out of. Oh, oh, oh. a Kiha Gongen? Yeah, yo! Figured this cosplayer was a friend of yours, Katopla Boss. It's not like every cosplayer in the world knows every other cosplayer, you know. <laughs> they don't. Oh, by the way, where did all the others get off to? The place was pretty full when I got here. Are those sleeping bags? Nah. <laughs> Deadline. <laughs> Blank pages. <laughs> <laughs> Only one hour left. Roro's made my sewing machine. We will not be late for today's cosplay event. Uh, is it alright if I use your 3D printer too? I've got some fingerprints I need printed by the end of the day. A shared space for creators, indeed. Morning, noon, or night, somebody is always busy at work, it seems. Ah, oh, what a lovely night's sleep. It's good to feel safe. You hadn't planned on your accommodations in any great detail, but fortunately someone had left a sleeping bag, but you're all too happy to use. You emerge from it and stretch. Since this spot is open 24 hours, it's apparently not uncommon for people to nap here, so appropriate accommodations are made available. I should go buy some breakfast. Is it really to go out in costume? There's no stigma against wearing cosplay in public here, especially with an event just around the corner. The anime, manga, and games, and cosplay alike taking center stage. The event is set to attract tourists from all over the city. You're heading out then. I'll make sure to look after your belongings. See you soon again, Master.
So, this is the famed Akihabara. Maids and robots everywhere, and tons of little specialist shops. Akihabara, part of Tokyo's Taito Ward, is a district famous for its multitudes of electronic shop and proto-cultural centers, centering to fan of every hobby imaginable. Billy. Billy! It's one of the first places transients new to Tokyo tend to want to visit, making it one of the city's premier tourist destinations. And indeed, along with uh, electronics and specialty shops, the streets are lined with transients gazing in awe at the seemingly endless array of strange and wonderful things here. There's also no shortage of wealthy looking tourists wandering the streets in search of new rare finds. There are valets and butlers tailing them with luggage to tow. There are valets and butlers tailing them with luggage in tow. There really are tourists everywhere. There's some kind of event today, right? I should be able to blend in no problem. You've been wearing the cosplay you borrowed from Katopopas ever since you arrived. Ellie. Hey, it's smoking. Mm hmm. Was I just being watched? I mean, I guess I'm in costume. Fortunately, even someone who knows you well would be unlikely to recognize you in this getup. And given that most of your pursuers know very little of you to begin with, you should be perfectly safe for the time being. Guess I can rest easy for a bit. Where my costume is. This is all his fault. Don't let me get away! The eyes focused on you that night were filled with raw hatred. I hope Shira and the others are okay. I'm worried about things back at school. I wish I could get in touch with them. Now, this is very important, okay? While you're in hiding, we need to avoid contacting one another as much as possible. Because we know nothing of our enemy, we don't know how or when they'd be listening. I don't want to lead them right to you. Furthermore, uh, no, Ashley, we don't need to discuss that. Bottom line, unless things blow over, don't try to call us unless there's some kind of emergency. We should be fine, I think. As far as we've been able to determine, the only target right now is you. So until we're able to gather more information and the situation changes, just do your best to lie low and stay out of trouble. Why did everyone turn against me? It's not like I did anything wrong. What rumors are they spreading about me? What's up, Ace? Cosplaying already this early in the morning. You turn around, and sure enough, it's Akiha Gongen, along with Katobopas and his regular street clothes. Morning, you two. Thanks for everything yesterday. Katobopas and, uh, your name was... Hey, Akiha Gongen! Sheesh! It's not that hard to remember. Okay, Akiha. Um, thank you, too. We just ran into each other right over there, didn't we, Katobopas? Mm, yes, we... I think we did. Hmm, hmm. Katobopas seems really nervous. <laughs> huh? Mm hmm. Anyway. I heard from Katobopas that there's, like, some kind of anime and manga event going down today. I've got nothing else going on, so I figure, why don't the three of us go check it out together? As long as we're all here. I ran into that sort of stuff, right, Ace? Uh, sure, I'd love to check it out. Better keep up appearances, I guess. Hmm? Huh? What's wrong? Did I say something bad? Oh, Katobo Boss, what about you? You'll come with too, right? Uh, if Katobo goes, I'm doubling. I like your outfit, by the way. Mm, you do? Then I appre- Uh, that's nice of you to say. Um, I- I'm not so good with, uh, events, and, uh... So I don't- but I- Uh, okay. I'll go with. Katobopas? You were so pumped up yesterday. We were chatting a mile a minute. 
Yay! A cosplay friend! I'm so happy! I have plenty of friends who make outfits, but not many willing to wear them with me. So, what kind of manga, anime, and games do you like? Oh wait, do you prefer original cosplays maybe? I want to hear everything about you, and then I want to wear tons of costumes and take tons of pictures with you. What do you say? Oh, but I guess maybe we should take a quick breather first, huh? I'll go grab some drinks from the dispenser. Thank you for that flashback. Mm -hmm. The Katobuplus agrees to Akiha Gangan's proposal. He does so without raising his head or making eye contact, and his words only barely eke their way out of his mouth. This is a total 180 from yesterday. What's up? Could it be... Yeah, I think I know. Hey, what's with you today? Even AC has taken notice that you're not acting like yourself. Katobuplus hangs his head low and blushes red as Akiha Gongyan throws an arm around his shoulder. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, what's bothering you? Do you want to talk about it? Yeah, Katobuplus. There ain't anything bothering you, is there? Mm, there aren't any problems. It's nothing like that. Katobuplus's response doesn't exactly inspire confidence in its veracity, given that he continues to avoid contact with either of you and is barely raising his voice above a whisper. He's like a completely different person from the fun-loving cosplay enthusiast he met yesterday. If you'll excuse me, I need to go to the bathroom. Hmm. Akio Gangan stares silently at Katobuplus's back as he scurries away. Uh... Akio Gangan? Is he having any problems uh, you know of? Huh? Like what? He seems like he's avoiding you. I mean, it's just a theory, but... Uh -huh. I think we just might be on the same page here, Ace. So, you already noticed. I mean, I've noticed how little I've gotten along with people around me since dropping into Tokyo. Ever since those who go to my school is always talking about an anime and games and fanfic and whatnot, and I've just gotten no clue. So I've been going to that place where everyone hangs out, hoping to learn more. But everybody just avoids me, I can tell. Even so, we're all in the same town together, so I just want us to get along, you know. Problem is, I'm doing something wrong, and I just don't know what it is or how to fix it. Ah, it sucks. Um, maybe you just need to back off a little? Huh? Like, you think I'm being too friendly? I guess it's an introvert-extrovert thing, huh? Haven't thought of that. I'm impressed, Ace. You really know your stuff. It's like you're a nerdologist or something. <laughs> um, You're not helping your case, you know? <laughs> huh? What? What did I say? You know, there's something I'd like to ask you if you'd be okay with it. Could you teach me what you know about this sort of stuff so I can be like a little better at relating at the others? I mean, he's trying his best in earnest effort. Can't blame him for that. City of Cyber Delights 3 Battle. It's a tall map with mobs. Sure. Ooh, I can't resist that. It's too bad you can't equip the Cloud AR on him. Oh well. With this, I should be able to get 300 FP, which is decent. Belly. And some random agents. Wow, what a turnout. Did they all come here to cosplay? Lots of people here are taking photos too. And this is Akiba Fest, a celebration of all things manga, anime, cosplay, light novel, and more. And it's one of the events designated photography areas that Akiya Gongyan, Katobulpas, and countless others gather to raise their voices in unified wonderment. I can't believe this many people are just here for cosplay. It's astounding. Uh, <laughs> yeah, cosplay has grown to be a major cultural phenomenon. 
They say wherever you see professional cosplayers, town scouts looking to hire them are never far behind. Finally, in his element, Katoba Paz can't seem to stop smiling. This is, in fact, the first time you've seen such a genuine smile on his face since meeting him yesterday. Katoba Paz. Yeah, buddy, cosplay is awesome! <laughs> Akia Gongen notices Katoba's beaming with joy and attempts to close the gap between them. Oh no! Uh, um, sorry, but you're a little too close. I'm gonna go change into my costume now. Uh, I'll see you two in a little, uh, sorry. No! Akia! <laughs> Why? Why does this always happen? Ah, nice. Can't you do something? Uh, I guess just let me do the talking from now on, okay? Okay. Whatever you say, Ace. You're the resident nerd expert. Or maybe even more than that. You're like a nerd whisperer. <laughs> <laughs> Akia Gangan nods with impatient alacrity. Ready to digest every word you say. Please stop giving me your titles. <laughs> nerd whisperer. What even is that? <laughs> How did it come to this? Don't give me another flashback that I don't need. Yes, thank you. I guess this is a respect for people's times uh, in terms of if they're watching it one part of the time rather than everything at once like me. I plan to do exactly what you tell me so I can get along with the great people of Akihabara. I'm catching you, Ace, so don't let me down. Hey, what's the matter? Uh, nothing. It hurts to have to lie to him. Huh? Hurts to Ace? Hello? Finally. It took so long before a changing room to open up. There are so many people here, I'll never find my way back. Hey there. Watch where you're going. You're liable to trip someone up otherwise. Uh, whoops. Sorry about that. Uh, I left those two on such a sour note, too. Why do I get so flustered so easily? Keeping his head down, hiding his face behind his hair, Katobopas grudgingly emerges from the dressing room. The cosplay area of the event has become noticeably more crowded. Even the most agile and careful would have the most trouble walking without stumbling into another person. Oh, oh, you there, in the main costume. Look this way, please. Perfect. Thank you so much. Mm, she was very charming, and so was the last one. I haven't really seen anyone yet, though, who just makes the whole crowd instantly soon for them. We wouldn't be here if it were that easy. It's our job to find diamonds in a rough, and you gotta dig for that. Any scout who's worth a salt should be able to tell the real deal from the rabble without too much effort. Whoa! Hello. Oh, sorry, are you alright? I wasn't really looking where I was going and... Ah. The sudden jolt of bumping into the talent scout causes Katobopas' hair to sway a bit, clearly exposing his hair to fill or a hidden left eye to anyone looking in his direction. Well, well, what have we here? Attention all attendees of Akiba Fest. We are seeing crowns much larger than expected at this event. We would ask that all attendees please pay careful attention to their surroundings so as to avoid injury. Even they can't believe the crowd size. You can feel the excitement in the air. No kidding. The passion these people have for the things they love is unlike anything I've ever seen. Akiha Gongan laughs with a very pure, genuine smile, expressing giddiness unexpected of someone so out of his element. You should seem to be enjoying yourself. You have a thing for events, Akiha? Oh, did he just call me Akiha? Sweet! Akiha is less of a mouthful, so feel free to keep calling me that from now on, Ace. Honestly, it's the whole town and the like. I love it here so much. There's a certain heated passion whenever people gathered here. I still don't really understand the appeal of stuff like Anmi and Manga and all that. 
But what I do get is how things we're passionate about can bring people together. And I just can't get enough of it. Yeah, I feel the same way. Oh, my heart really is seeing just how pure you are. Huh? Your heart does what now? Are you okay? Do you need medical attention? <laughs> if you do, just leave it to me. I've taken an EMT training course. What? That's not it. That's just how you express excitement. I guess some people like to narrate themselves. Why is that anyway? That's not what you mean either. Well, you can't really explain any better. I'm kind of confused, but whatever. That announcement was no lie, though. A huge crowd like this is liable to cause an accident or some fighting. Since there's a police presence, I doubt the youth fire brigade I belong to will be dispatched. But I'd best keep a close eye on my phone, just in case. Use fire brigade? You're a real firefighter? Is that your real uniform? Alright, guess I didn't mention that. Yeah, I'm an on-call firefighter in the Akihabara Youth Fire Brigade. I've got a tough training regimen I do every morning. It takes hard work to sculpt muscles like these, you know? <laughs> of course, that means I know all the best evacuation routes from this part of town. So if anything goes south, you can count on me. Like I said, I love it here. I love any place where passions burn hot. Problem is, when passions burn too hot, sometimes that fire spreads and becomes, uh, quite real. Seen a lot of incidents in my time, unfortunately. But now, if that fire starts to spread, me and my team can keep everyone safe and get it under control. Ha! <laughs> Didn't mean to sound like some hotshot. I just want to make friends, that's all. I hate feeling lonely. Maybe I just love having a blast with friends. Silly, huh? <laughs> you might overdo it just a bit, though. But I think you're a good person, Nikia. I think I love this side of you. You serious? I haven't heard anyone use that word in with me since I came here. Thank you so much, Ace. For what it's worth, I love this part of you, too. Where's Kotobupas, I wonder? Do you think he's alright? Come to think of it, he has been gone for a while now, considering he was just getting changed. We should go look for him. Ah! Ah! Help! Somebody! Help! No sooner has Akiha Gangan posed the mere suggestion of going in search of Katobopas than a number of ear-piercing screams wash over the venue like sudden storm waves. Pretty sure those screams came from where Katobopas headed off to. He was one of the screams, I think. Let's go! Right by your side, Ace! You there! Can you put your bangs again so we can get a good look at your face? No, stop! Please! I have to hide my face no matter who- ah! Giving him no time to fully vocalize his objections, one of the scouts reaches out and lifts Kotobupasa's bangs. Amazing! His facial structure is perfect, and his physique is impeccable. We found our diamond in a rough. Indeed. On one look at him, and it's po impossible to turn your gaze. What is this burning hot sensation I feel within my heart? If you bring him back with us, we're sure to get not just bonuses, but promotions as well. Won't you join our talent agency, son? I guarantee we can make a star out of you in no time. At least take your business cards. Hey, no coming in mine. He gets mine first. Huh? What's going on? What's all the commotion? Whoa, look at that guy. He's so gorgeous, it's almost unreal. Oh, what's this feeling that's come over me? Please, show me more. I want to see more of your face. Out of my way, scrubs. That face is mine. Oh, please stop. I beg you, leave me be. Help. Somebody, please help. Huh? Ready on this end, Ace. Three, two, one, do it! What? Engrave my name unto thee, come forth, Boundless Hill! What the? Uh, am I flying? 
Man, I didn't know you could jump like that, Ace. Don't worry, though. I gotcha. <laughs> that wasn't just jump. It was like you warped. Reminds me of the rapid movement techniques used by the Tenku. You can fly, Akia. Those black wings. I've seen something like them before. I'm what's known as a Crow Tengu. Maybe one of your friends is another of my kind. Anyway, that's not important right now. Kotobopas, can you tell us what just happened? What caused this whole uproar? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's all my fault. Uh, really? How? You're right! Show me your eye! Please, I just want to see both of your eyes so badly. I always try to keep my left eye hidden behind my bangs because this eye of mine bears a certain rule. It makes others unable to see anything but me. All around them, everything else in the world just might as well not exist. Your eye can do that. That explains a lot, actually. So your eye set everybody off then, yeah? I'm really sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I always keep it hidden to prevent things like this from happening. And it's probably best you get an eye patch at that rate. My eye has been causing problems for as long as I can remember. As if to punctuate this comment. As if to punctuate this comment. You just so happen to look down at the sound of screams and see the event space and utter chaos below you. Those who saw Katoblopas' face are running through the crowd on impulse like wild boars, pushing and knocking over other attendees who all seem very confused and disoriented. I started to feel like if I grew my bangs out and took up cosplay, I could become someone else. It kind of worked. I felt happy and self-confident for the first time ever. So that made me want to cosplay in public. I tried to lie low and keep my head down so I wouldn't cause any trouble. But yeah, I have tainted the good name of cosplay. Katoba boss. So that's why you try to avoid people? Is that why you pushed Okia away? I wouldn't say any of this makes you a nuisance or a problem, though, Katobopas. Uh-huh. Of course it does. How could you possibly think otherwise? Everything in this world has the potential to create chaos and disorder. Usually in multiple ways, even. But you stop doing the things you love for fear of that happening, though. That's just kind of sad. Hmm. Don't worry. I'll take care of this, one way or another. You just go on loving and enjoying Cosby like you always have. You're at the be you're at your best when you're generally having a blast with cosplay. I've wanted to be friends with that guy for ages now. No true friend would ever tell you you're being a nuisance or causing problems by just being who you are. Akiha Gongan studies the ground below him and seemingly maps something out in his head. You quickly realize he's plotting an evacuation route from the event space. He sees the police detail assigned to the event as among the crowd affected by Kotobopas' face. I can't very well take care of the people who've gone berserk and lead everyone else to safety all by myself. Don't worry, Akia. I've got your back. Whatever you're planning, count me in. Great. I'm counting on you, Ace. Leave all the extinguishing to me, though. I've been putting fires out for a long time, after all. Let's do this. Wait till you get a load of my sacred artifact. You're gonna love it! もえるほのを発見だ。ついた。パーティータイム。パーティーチョコラ。任せてよ。計算ついてくるがいい。二軸ものどもは。それが死に続けるや。我らの玉の鏡。死を発射。売れてった。そこだ。No. <笑> <ついてくるがいい>。<笑> I can't believe you've done this. Okay. Put my guitar. <laughs> no. Fuck off. Whatever. I should have paid attention to the buffs. まかせとけ。俺が突入ルート消火だぜ。準備は良いか。ああ。では、行くよ。見せてやる。さもなず。炎は全て消え去るべしだ。消灼しくりず。恩開けんのそばか。計算入れてた。
任せとけ助けに来たぞいいのかシロああ俺たち売れてきたそこだスドエ三大ギルドの勇士たちよ我ら互える道を踏み越えここに偉大なる同盟アームスワン<笑>消化だぜ<笑> Alright, I keep u s h e s I forgot about that <笑>シホ炎はすべて消え去るべしだ消しゃシクリス恩開けんのそばか誰は光を生まれ闇に生きる者<笑>どうだかっこよいだろうアキハガンエンアテンクウスピリチュアルアソーリーオーバーファイアアンプレベティングコンフラグレーションイズドメインオーバーファイアイズレサイドインフォームオブフォローイングマントラアンヒラヒラケンヒラケンノーソワカイツメニングフレームズバンサンダラスリーブライト Once upon a time, before this area bore the name it is now known by, it was a little more than a wasteland ravaged by fire. The people lived in fear of another disaster. In a distant land, a certain Tengu deity of fire prevention named Akiha Gongen was summoned into being, or at least, a division of his spirit was. The portion of the spirit split from the original manifested as an entirely different entity. Living and walking its own individual path. For the main body of Akiha Gan to meet the shadow of himself, he would regard it as another individual very similar to himself in appearance and mannerism. And this divided Akiha Gan in, the shadow, descended upon those who sought the blessing of fire prevention, like a wildfire quickly burning itself to completion. The land was encircled in preventative grounds to ensure its safety, and in honor of the fiery shadow, it was renamed Akiha Field, or Akiha Bara. Ooh! Ooh! I didn't realize that.、Huh? I thought it was just a very superficial connection. The Akiha Gongen, who descended upon Tokyo as a transient, thus harbors a deep, ingrained love for the people of Akiha Bara. Where does this attraction come from? Why is this town so precious and dear? Akiha Gangen wonders if his shadow who protected this town loved it as he does. In this land so far from home, Akiha Gangen stops to consider the flames that burn with him then now. Among them is a knowledge that he is not alone. There was once another who loved the same things, the same places, and the same people he does. O、oh, ye who watch over this great land, lend me your strength. On Hira Hira, Ken Hira Ken no Sawaka, control burn! Akiya Gangan tosses his rope down into the throng of frenzied attendees, and it encircles them, forming a barrier that halts him in place. His rule of extinguishment allows him to isolate and trap the spread of fire until it burns itself out. This is what the people of Akihabara believe in. This is the power of the Tengu. Oh, I feel so refreshed. The riders suddenly snap back to their senses entirely as if nothing had even happened. Amazing. It feels like I've slept the best sleep of my life. Bonuses? Promotions? Why were we so firmly pursuing such frivolities? What in the world? What did he do to them? It's like they've awoken from a dream. My sacred artifact allows me to accelerate any fire to the point that it burns itself out. This includes the fire within us. After confirming that all the riders have successfully had their fires extinguished, Akiha Gong instructs silly victory pose. <laughs> nice. I see. So, what you're saying is the flames of obsession are burned out, meaning the danger has been mitigated. Yep. We did it. We saved the day, Ace. No, wait. Friend? Buddy. We saved the day, buddy. Three cheers for Akiha! Hip hip hooray! You know, we can be more than friends, too. 
<laughs> Doesn't even acknowledge that statement. Um, thank you for saving me, both of you. You even managed to save my co costume from getting damaged. I don't even know how I can ever repay you. Katopas, you are... You're speaking to Akia normally. You okay? What do you mean? Oh, I see. Because before I was all sheepish. I'm really sorry about that. I've always had trouble talking to people when I'm not in costume. Oh, I get it now. So you don't hate Akia then? Uh, of course not. Akia Gongin is a good person. I am? Hearing you say that makes me so happy. Katopas, thank you. Ah, so sorry. <laughs> Akia Gong tries once more to throw an armor on Katopopas' shoulder, but Katopopas definitely dodges and scrays away. <laughs> hey, hey, what's the deal? We're aren't we buddies now, too? <laughs> His face is so extreme. <laughs> well, you have to say, only fools rush in. Maybe try less aggressive for this. Oh, hey there, came to see your cosplay unveiling, Katopopas. Arathon. Finished and delivered my story's draft. Finally free to come out. <laughs> Sorry to have cut the thing short yesterday. Yoshi, Hecate, glad to see you. Why'd you run off yesterday anyway? Well, Akio Gongen was there. I mean, it's not like we hate him or anything, but still, he's... You know. It's just that he has a tendency to extinguish flames, including those we'd rather let burn. And, yeah, we've got the creative juices flowing. We just can't afford to have him around. Sad as it is to say. <laughs> You know, he's right behind you, right? Oh, that's him! <laughs> oh man, that's so unfortunate. Wow, they're being so mean to me, buddy! Shh, it's okay, you poor thing. I've got you. Try those tears now. My shoulder is yours to lean on. <laughs> oh, wow! Thanks, buddy, I owe you one. Hello? Yes, we are requesting immediate assistance. There's been an uprising at the cosplay event in Akihabara. Oh, this is a... Uh, what's his face? Sonnet. What? What are you? Hmm? Huh? What are we? Hello? An uprising, you say? What do you mean exactly? Hey, did you see Master Hogan of the Shinjuku Precinct? What do you mean, Master Hogan? The Crow Tengu? Where? You sure it wasn't someone else? Could that have been? I mean, he's got a pretty distinctive silhouette. I can't imagine confusing anyone else with him. Eh, I guess you're right. Now that I think about it, the guy I saw looked a fair bit younger. It must have been someone else. Hmm. The man quietly arranges paper talismans on his Balgoa board, as if playing some sort of a game. One talisman in the very center is encircled by several others. He removes one of them, opening a hole in a circle, as if to create an escape route for the one in the middle. Now for my next move. The sound of footfalls ascending the sky ladder suddenly reaches his ears. He stills his hand and looks up to confirm the identity of his visitor. Well now, I didn't expect you to make your way up here. What an auspicious turn of events. What are my intentions this time? <laughs> to be asked such a question at this late stage. I think the answer would be no surprise. Every move I make is in service to the coming revolution. You know, a revolution. Like in the card game. Are we familiar with it? Tycoon. Daifugo. Grand Millionaire. It has many names. A surprising instance where the lesser cards become more valuable than the higher valued cards. I'll laugh if you will, but that is what I'm aiming to bring about. I shall reverse my fortunes at the 11th hour and emerge the victor. Even if I only have but one card left to play. 
The man plucks the talisman from the center of the board and places it against his lips. Instantly, and seemingly by magic, it multiplies into dozens of copies, pounding out in showy fashion. I need only take my one remaining play and split it into many, and the game will change altogether. A good move, no? I am still on the course of achieving my goals. Each card, each talisman, must be played carefully and thoughtfully in turn. The definitive end of this game is nigh, so long as the divination of the Bago remains an inescapable reality. That said, it takes time to gather the necessary hand for a revolution. I do hope I make it in time, for there are other players making their moves. <laughs> The visitor promptly turns heel and leaves at this, as as this is all that needed to be said. I look forward to seeing what your next move may be, my smoky god.